the NHL, tepid tantrums aren't that uncommon. In fact, we see it all the time. We see players breaking sticks on the net, players yelling at opposing coaches, or even attempted assault on referees. There's a lot of these insane meltdown moments in the NHL, but usually, the emotion in hockey is controlled. When it boils over in anger and frustration, that's when you have a meltdown. Here are some of the most insane meltdown moments in the league's history. We're gonna start with the Montreal Canadiens' Andrew Shaw. He's clearly not happy in this video when the penalty has just been assessed to him. So he goes over to destroy a stick in the box and is only left with the nub in his hand. Goalies usually have to stay relatively calm. But in this case, that's certainly just not true. New York Rangers future Hall of Famer Henrik Lundqvist wanted a stoppage in play but didn't get one. So in retaliation, he decided a smart move would be to take matters into his own hands and tip over his net to force the stoppage. But we see NHL goaltenders getting mad all the time. Another upset goaltender, the Toronto Maple Leafs goaltender Curtis Joseph. Cujo, as they call him, thinks he was interfered with the goal that he allowed. So he makes a beeline for the referees to let him know about. Joseph just loses his balance on the way and accidentally knocks the official into the ice with his legs. Even though his helmet had fallen off and it looked absolutely hilarious, Joseph continued to complain after both he and the referee are back on their skates. Next up is a screaming match between a player and a formidable coach, which turns into the coaches yelling at each other. During a pileup in front of the benches, Anaheim Ducks Corey Perry and Colorado Avalanche coach Patrick Waugh are having a couple of words. And they don't think they're very friendly. They aren't just saying, hey, you look cute today. But then Perry's coach Bruce Boudreau got involved and he and Waugh began a talk. During that exchange, Waugh almost knocks over the partition between the benches. Clearly, Things have not been going well for the Nashville Predators goaltender. Pecorino smashed his stick in the goalpost and the crossbar of his net before heading to the bench after being pulled. Rene had surrendered five goals. But when it comes to breaking sticks, it's hard to beat the master of the Dallas Stars, Jamie Benn, who does not settle for breaking just one stick over his knee. Oh no, when he gets back to the bench, Benn breaks two more in the same manner. Not the kind of hat trick that NHL fans are accustomed to, but I think it's my personal favorite. Boston Bruins goaltender Tuka Rask probably wants to do the same after trying to just slam his stick against the boards in frustration, but he loses his balance in the process. Next up is yet another gold. Martin Broder, understandably not a happy camper after allowing a game ending goal, but he then thinks that he was interfered with, or makes an excuse to try to get a stoppage, to try to get a replay, to try to extend the game, or is just unhappy, who knows. So, Broder first pleads his case to the referee, then he smashes it against the board before throwing it up into the stands. After that, he decided it'd be nice to have a little chat with his teammates. And in this case, I think a cold shower probably would have helped. And then, there's this classic. After losing a playoff game in the year of 1988, New Jersey Devils coach Jim Schoenfield has had it with the referee Don Koharski. And while chewing Koharski out, Schoenfeld says, have another donut, and calls the ref a fat pig. In this one, it's more than just insults being hurled here. Instead, it's equipment as the New York Islanders Brad Isbitzer and Brad Ferenc throw their gear at each other and dodge the incoming gloves and helmets from the two boxes. Not all NHL meltdowns come in games. Some happen during practice, like this one from Lindy Ruff when he was coaching the Buffalo Sabres. And this tirade goes on a while as Ruff has clearly had it with the team. Wayne Gretzky, the great one, 
was not known for losing his temper as a player. But in this case, he is the coach of the Phoenix Coyotes. During a melee against the boards and a game against the Anaheim Ducks, Gretzky started to yell at Anaheim players and has to be held back by one of his assistant coaches. This one is two coaches yelling at each other. The rivalry between the Detroit Red Wings and the Colorado Avalanche from the mid-90s until the early 2000s was one of the most intense in NHL history. And the coaches were not that above the fray. Here, during the 1997 Western Conference Final, as the two teams scuffle in front of the players' benches, coaches Scott Bowman and the Red Wings and Mark Crawford have more than a few unfriendly words for each other. And Crawford really seems to be losing it. Maybe it was because among the things that Bowman said to Crawford was, I knew your father before you did. And I don't think he'd be too proud of what you're doing now. Just to note, Bowman actually did know Crawford's father from junior days. Rick Bonas, a man who does not care about his or anybody else's father here, is just truly upset after his Dallas Stars lose to the St. Louis Blues. After slamming the bench store as Bonas is letting the referees have it, he picks up his stick and slams it on a wall behind the bench before heading to the locker room. New Jersey Devils coach Robbie Fortek isn't satisfied with making his complaints known from behind the bench. So, he simply throws the bench into the ice after this tie red in a game against the Detroit Red Wings. Here, you gotta look closely, but Los Angeles Kings coach Tom Webster punches the Calgary Flames' Dougie Gilmore during this scuffle between the two teams in front of the benches. Coaches usually save reading the riot act to the players for after the game or during practice. But here, the Florida Panthers coach Paul Maurice is so unhappy with the way his team is playing that he lets them have it with both barrels while the play is stopped. And it is not a short rant. Toronto Maple Leafs' Darcy Tucker does his talking with his fists, he comes out of absolutely nowhere to attack someone on the Ottawa Senators bench, and is soon battling the entire bench, of course, with a little help from his teammates. But here, Ottawa Senators goaltender Robin Leonard is only blaming himself after a loss to the Jackets. So, Leonard takes it out on his goalie stick as he's about to leave the ice. Philadelphia Flyers goaltender Carter Hart is even more upset. After allowing six goals, Hart pulverizes his goaltender stick on the net. Next up is the infamous coach, Don Tortorella. This time, angry after his team lost a game to the Montreal Canadiens. As he is screaming, Tortorella even has to be directed off the ice by one of his assistant coaches. The Montreal Canadiens, Brandon Gallagher, registers his complaint with the referee up close and personal before skating away. Unsatisfied, of course. The Chicago Blackhawks, Ed Belfour, totally loses it after giving up a goal to lose a playoff series. After leaving his net to play the puck behind, he has interfered while trying to get back to the crease. Therefore, he cannot get back to the net in time to prevent a goal that ends the series. That could not have been a pleasant summer for Eddie. Torts is back, and he's quite upset at the officials, the timekeeper, and the Lee. He explains exactly why. Take a listen. So, the whistle blows, the whistle is blown at 19.2 on the clock. For some reason, the clock has run down a second and a tenth to 18.1. For whatever reason, I have no idea. So instead of resetting the clock, we have them tell our captain we're not going to do it. Toronto doesn't step in. Refs don't do their freaking job. And now we lose the game and we lose our goalie. So the chain of events, if it was done right, we don't lose our goalie, we win the hockey game. So all this god technology, right? The technology and getting things right, the stubbornness tonight by the officials and by the league and Toronto, however it's supposed to work, screws us. It's ridiculous. 
I'm not taking any god. Well, there you have it. Some of the most insane meltdown moments in the NHL. You can comment on the one you think was the most insane, or if we missed something, let us know below. And if you like this video, don't be a bender. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help the algorithm, help us grow, and see you next time.